aspect of Galaxy Rangers, which uh, we really enjoyed, was working with the actors. Um, it's interesting on Galaxy Rangers. We did we did everything sort of backwards because we didn't want to we didn't want to emulate anything that had been on the air already. We didn't want the same voice talent. Uh, we didn't want the same look. We didn't want the same style. We wanted something very unique and and uh, uh, trying to get something to stand out in the marketplace, which may not have been the best idea, but that's what we were. Our goal was. Uh, we did the casting. It was an open call, and um, since we're working in New York. This was a major project for New York because it was a big animation series and very little animation was being done in New York at the, at the time. So we had a lot, a lot of people coming to these voiceover um, tryouts. One day we were casting, all of a sudden Jerry Orbach walks in. Jerry Orbach was, come on, he was a legend. A major Broadway star, 42nd Street, Fantastics, Chicago. I mean, this guy was um, uh, uh, just a legend. And being a New Yorker and a big Broadway fan, uh, um, we were we were all very thrilled that he he came and he was looking for something to do. You know, he wanted some work and uh, um, he thought it'd be interesting to do some voiceover work. And um, he we matched him up with Zach because Zach Zachary Fox was supposed to be our stoic John Wayne character and fit perfectly with Jerry Orbach's voice. I'm Turned out to be a great fit. He was great to work with. To we did back. a little backwards. We didn't record the dialogue uh, first before the animation. Uh, we we looped the dialogue. We had the we had the animation um, uh, produced, and then we brought it back, and we looped dialogue to the animation. Jerry Orbach, having done movies, was very good at looping. He was no problem. He got it instantly. The other actors was a little tricky because they're used to recording dialogue up front and sitting in a studio and going home. We had, we had to record uh, to the picture, and a little bit of a challenge. Anyway. Um, um, we also kept asking Jerry Orbach to sing his lines and. Um, one time he did, and I'm sorry we didn't keep that take. Um, as you know, he went on to, he, he eventually did go on to sing in Beauty and the Beast. Uh, Jerry Orbach, who was one of the voices of, uh, he was the uh, lead character of uh, Zach. Yes. Yes, Zach. Yes, he, he was the, man. the voice of Zach. Jerry and, Orbach. And uh, Jerry Orbach, very and famed Broadway actor from, since. From Law and Order. Law and Order. Yes. That's, yes. Uh, that's the late Jerry Orbach. Yes. I had the opportunity to meet him. This is many years later now. Uh, How many years later? About uh, 2000? This was 90, let's say 97? 97, okay. Okay, so at least 10 years after the fact. Yeah. Uh, at the time I was working uh, with the Writers Guild, uh, they put together these annual award shows. Uh, I was on the committee to do that, and they had asked Mr. Orbach to be a presenter at the awards. This was at the uh, Windows of the World, at the World Trade Center at the time. They just reopened the, the restaurant from the, uh, the 93 uh, attack. So uh, I was very excited to meet him. And what I did was, with the Roy Rogers uh, placement, <laughs> the product placement, they had made placemats for the trays. When you got the food, there was a placemat that had the Galaxy Rangers on it, Rangers Ho, and the next whatever other details they had in there, including what was in the food. I took one of those, and after Mr. Orbach checked in, and we, we explained what his duties were for the evening, and uh, how I would have to work with him uh, the portion, I said, Mr. Orbach, one of my first paying gigs, was as a writer for Galaxy Rangers, and I showed him the the placemat. And I asked him to autograph it, which he did. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not proud, and he did it. And at that point, <laughs> his wife said something along the lines of, "Where do you people come from?" I was like, "Well, I mean, I wrote for the show. That, that's what, what do you mean? Oh, Mister, he gets stopped all the time by people talking about Galaxy Rangers, which was, was really quite a okay. super." Ten years after Ten the Ten years show. after the fact, one season. One season. Yeah. It wasn't even on the air in this, this country, as I found out later. <laughs> so I go online. Uh, this is now, I'm just getting my first computer. And I Google Galaxy Rangers. And it turns out there's fan sites and websites dedicated to it. Uh, this is this major fan base. And around the world. Uh, there were people from Australia, Germany, England, France. Apparently it was very big in France. These people had access to tapes. These people had access to toys. They actually came out with the toys in yes. Europe. Yes. And uh, amazing. 